He particularly mentioned me, the chief of army staff. I'm most grateful, Your Majesty. The Nigerian army will continue to respect the traditional institutions towards effective civil-military relations. Finally, it is with a high sense of responsibility and respect that I humbly express the Nigerian army's profound gratitude to the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammadu Buhari, Grand Commander of the Federal Republic, for his invaluable support to the Nigerian Armed Forces in general and to the Nigerian Army in particular. On behalf of the officers and soldiers of the Nigerian Army, I once more pledge our total commitment to the defense of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I wish to respectfully reassure Mr. President of the unflinching loyalty and commitment of the Nigerian Army to the defense of democratic governance in Nigeria. The Nigerian Army will continue to remain apolitical, professional, and responsive in the discharge of its constitutional role. Thank you and God bless. The special guest of honor, sir, your excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, with your kind permission, I would like to crave the indulgence of the participants to please put their hands once more for the Chief of Army staff for that wonderful welcome address. And and exact picture what, of what the Nigerian army is today and projection for the future. Your Excellency is very distinguished invited guest. As I earlier mentioned, the Nigerian army is enjoying tremendous goodwill from the esteemed people of Nigeria of various stratas of life and of course international community. If you look at the program, it was only the chief host, the executive governor of Oyo State, that was built to speak. But of course, the executive governors of Edo, Ondo, and Osun State have sent representatives who would like to say a few words. Therefore, we are craving the indulgence of the representatives of their excellencies in the order I've mentioned, Edo, Ondo, and Osun, to present their goodwill, message, goodwill messages in just two minutes. I wonder how they will manage it. But the good thing about the military life, you can only grumble, you cannot go on strike. There were some group of senior officers particularly doing a marvelous job on behalf of the Nigerian military and indeed the Nigerian state as it were at various stations in the international arena. Talking about the various defense advisors and attaches, they were grumbling seriously that I have not recognized them. You are hereby recognized. May I, at this juncture, invite His Excellency uh, Yusuf, to on behalf of the good people or His Excellency, the Executive Governor of, of Edo State, and the good people of that state, to please present Edo State first before we go to Edo. Edo State, please, if you are ready. of the Nigeria Armed Forces, President Muhammadu Buhari, ably represented by 
General Abayomi Oloni Saki, Your Excellency, the Governor of Oyo State, Senator Abiola Jumobi, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General T.Y. Bratai, other very senior officers of the Nigeria Armed Forces and other security agencies here present. Good afternoon. The Governor of Edo State has asked me to convey his willingness to have been here physically present, but due to the weather problem across the country, his flight could not locate the position of Ibadan <laughs> Airport. Therefore, he has asked me to deliver his goodwill message on this very special uh, occasion. The message. Goodwill message by His Excellency, Mr. Godwin Nogegase Obaseki, the Governor of Edo State, on the occasion of the 2017 Chief of Army Staff Annual Conference. Today, being Monday, 11th December 2017, it is my pleasure to be in your midst on this occasion of the 2017 Chief of Army Staff Annual Conference. I am informed that the team of this year conference is reappraising the Nigerian Army operation efficiency in containing contemporary national security challenges. This is quite timely as it will afford conference participants opportunity to critically appraise the activities and operations of the Nigeria Army with a view to repositioning it to achieve national security. No doubt, the Nigeria Army and its officers are proving themselves to be worth celebrating, more so in their successful defeat of insurgents and other security challenges. However, it is needful as a means of strategy to appraise the training, operational activities for a better and well-equipped army. I wish to commend the officers and men of the Nigerian Army for their efforts and sacrifices in the counter-insurgence operation in the Northeast and other operations across the country and overseas. I urge them to maintain momentum and steadfastness in fulfilling their constitutional role of protecting the territorial integrity or integrity of our dear country, Nigeria. Thank you and God bless you. This is at the west of the government of the state. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for that brevity. Uh, please, Your Excellencies, we are running short of time because some people have to go back and you know the climatic conditions. Now, may I invite the representative of the executive governor of uh, Ondo State, Your Excellency, please. 